um, August of 2000, when Michael and I, we were actually 35, um, he went to sleep one night, and then that was it. Um, I woke up the next morning, and he was gone. And um, we later found out that it was massive heart failure in his sleep. But I was, I was devastated. Because um, one thing that I always did was, you know, being a Christian myself and loving God, I prayed for him all the time, that, that the Lord would show him salvation as well. And um, I always just knew I had that confidence that God would, God would reach him and that he would come to know the Lord. So when he passed away, I was, I was devastated because my first question to God was, God, he can't be dead because I didn't see him living for you. I didn't see him as a Christian. And I just knew God wouldn't do that to me. Um, and as, as the years went by, I really struggled with that because I needed proof. I needed to prove that he had accepted the Lord. Two things that God gave me right away was, of course, scripture. Um, the day after he passed away, um, when my sister came over, there was a calendar on my desk that I, I never turned, and she had turned the calendar. And the scripture on the calendar, which was the day after he passed away, was actually Matthew six thirty four, where it says, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. And I felt like it was God telling me, it's okay, don't worry about it, I've got this. The second Bible verse that God gave me was actually through a card first, and then a bookmark later, and it was Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plan to give you hope and future. That was the verse that I hung on to because I knew that God was telling me, I am with you. I have a plan for you. I know you feel lost and I know you feel devastated, but I have a plan for you. I have always relied on God's word. Um, the things that God has taught me through the years, everything has been through scripture. Um, it, when, when, I, when I first became a Christian and began reading God's word is when I began to understand who he was as our savior and who he was as our God, as our comforter. Every time that I have gone through a struggle or something in my life that has been difficult, God has always given me scripture to um, comfort me and to let me know that he's got this, that he's in control. True transformation cannot happen without God's word.